Hello, my amigos. It's Radish Amigo here, along with Shub Springle. And in this part, we're going to be getting all the red rings in Aquarium Park. You may see a lot of cutting because, uh, well, this one was really difficult for me. So but yeah. the music's awesome. <laughs> the say I could hear. What the hell? I could hear you perfectly earlier. Said it one more time. What? Oh. Said, except the music here is awesome. Yeah. Which makes this level amazing. Love the music. Yeah, the music looks really beautiful. Um, not the music, the level. <laughs> and, um. The level plus yeah, music equals uh, awesome. Yeah. The thing I don't like too much, though, is um, the underwater bit. Like, by the time I got to Act 6, playing it about a million times, the underwater sections got really boring for me. <laughs> oh, I haven't... Enjoyed them, but... I haven't made it this far in the game yet, because I don't own it. But, um... Waiting on... <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I, on this bit, I forgot to record when I got the red ring. So, just hit that blue thing in the upper right with a laser, and you get it. Okay, as I was saying, I haven't made it this far because I don't own it, but can you actually breathe underwater or not? Uh, you... you don't breathe underwater, although there's a power-up that acts like the bug bubble shield from Sonic 3 and Knuckles. It's these weird little leech things that go around you or something like that. Well, oh, they're okay. not leeches, because leeches can kill you, but... I don't know. <laughs> they just look like these weird things. Yeah, uh, right, um, yeah, you, um, need bubbles to survive, mainly. Yeah, I thought so. Every single screenshot I saw of this game, they never really use it, so. Oh. Oh. Oh, well. Yeah. Hey, have you ever thought of getting it? This game? I rented it, but it was fun, but I just kept getting bored and I kept thinking, huh. You know, I really want to play Twilight Princess right now, so I kept switching that out with Sonic Colors every once in a while, so. You should really like try and play it again or something. Yeah. Those are some unfortunate times they got Twilight Princess like two days before it. <laughs> hmm. And they just got ton of colors in on the family video. The place where I rent my stuff at, so. Like, okay, I have to get it now or else it's not gonna be there anymore. Yeah. Just, just unfortunate timing. I, I, I am Max, like, kind of like that when I run out of games. <laughs> usually forget about that. And this guy always reminds me of Venom from Spider-Man. Mostly because he's a never-ending... That's kind of. He's a never-ending monster that likes to kill everything that's in his path. <laughs> yeah. No, I, th I thought he's kind of reminds me of a crocodile, but now <laughs> I realize that, yeah, he does kind of look like Venom. This bit's really challenging. You have to like get it perfectly in line. And surprisingly enough, I got this first time. <laughs> we wouldn't know though, because you would edit it out. Sorry. Is it even if you didn't get the first time, you wouldn't have really noticed because it's editing. <laughs> yeah, I know. But <laughs> well, it wouldn't matter to me because then after all, um, I wouldn't have to go back and do it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's good for you. I love the laser yeah, power up. And um, this is further back into the level. <laughs> so I missed this bit. So yeah, we just go here and there should be a drill and a red ring. Yeah. The oh, drill makes up for all the up your Xbox. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, and act five. More acts. Oh, two more acts, technically. Yep. Um, this this is like one of the worst levels in the game. Well, not the worst level, just the most difficult. Uh, yeah. Because because of the explody boxes. <laughs> Sorry. Because of the explody boxes. Those look like a pain. On 
Uh, every now and then I still can't like hear you properly. Ah! I tried to fix my microphone, but even then it still fails. Yeah, failure. I love the failure noise in um, Super Smash Bros. The sound effect for that. <laughs> failure. I have all of them. <laughs> yeah, so do I. Brawl being my most them, favorite. The first one on Virtual Console. I have the first one on the original. Oh, yeah, there you are. That is the bubbles, the um, air thing. Do you have an N64? Uh, yes, I do. Alright. Mm, no, I don't. <laughs> it's probably my favorite console, just because of how much I play it. At like 2 o'clock in the morning. Find it or what? That red ring looked very easy to get. That um, red ring I just got. Yeah, it don't look really easy to get. It's just like jump off and then boost. Mm, it was really hard. It actually took me like 10 tries to do that. <laughs> I just cut ahead to the one I did it on. Okay, that makes sense. And, and right here, I actually show you the proper way to get it. Like, oh, well, first I get a different red ring, but I also show you the proper way to get that red ring. The harder way, really. The lame way. Yeah, the lame way. And you also die a lot more this way. Uh, oh, that's the red ring I was supposed to get, and then down here I'll show off the one where um, I got earlier, just a different way. It's kind of a cool thing about this game, like, it shows off, like, you can actually do things in more than one way. Kind of like, uh, Classic Sonic. yes, and I like that. So, um, that's all for today, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for joining me, Chubb Springle. You're welcome, anytime. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. See ya.